so I'm going to show you a few tools on how to find out more about your Woodall family genealogy. There are a few things that I found that were very helpful at the beginning of the process and one was three files that were online that if you Google Woodall descendants in quotes it will pull up these three pages. Once you get onto the first page at the very bottom of the first page there's a next button and there's a next button also at the bottom of the second page that will take you to the third page. So what I suggest you do is highlight and copy clip all three of these pages and pull them into a Word doc and put them in correct order, page one at the top, page two second, page three third. And then you'll be able to save that in your local computer and search it at your leisure without having to go online. You can look it up that way on Google by quote Woodall Descendants or you can use the links that I'm going to place directly beneath in the description of this video or you can use these exact URLs right here if you wanted to type it from visual. Alright so now that you have your information in Word you can see at the top that you've got John Woodall with a little one next to his name so the premise is that he is the original person that arrived in Virginia or Maryland around 1678. To look up your actual ancestors you don't want to start at the top of this document. What you want to do is you want to go control F your grand granddad. So in my case I'm going to look up William Clyde and I just type in William Clyde. Okay so there he is. Children of John Woodall and Mary Bertan are William Clyde Woodall. So I've already pre-highlighted my grandparent in yellow. And this document is very long. It's um, 448 pages. So you'll want to highlight all of your ancestors in yellow as you go backwards. So if you look at the parents of my grandparent, you'll see that 310 John Valdori Woodall is my great grandparent. And he's got a number eight next to him. So you're looking for his parents, which would be in turn number seven. So it says to the right of his name, Wiley M. Seven. So you can see right there who his dad is. So if I type in Wiley M, there's Wiley M right there at line number 169. And his parents are Wiley Woodall and Sarah Atchley that's above him. So now if I get rid of the M I keep going backwards there's Wiley Woodall at line number 89 so it made a swift jump upward because there's many different branches of Woodalls here so you want to follow just your branch. So above Wiley Woodall is John Woodall and Carrie Johnson. Now I'm back to 1804 in Franklin County Virginia and there's quite a bit of information about them. We've got John Willis Woodall Sr. Willis Woodall was born in Goochland, Virginia and died in Kenimer Cove in 1830. So you just keep working your way up. And as you go up you'll see the numbers next to their names. So John Willis Woodall is number five. David Willis Woodall, number four, with Carrie Johnson, is there below. Okay, so if you look to the right there, it says John Willis, five, Woodall, senior. And then number four is David Willis. So now I'm looking upward for David. Okay, so there's David Willis, and his parents are John Woodall and Jemima Willis. So keep scrolling upward. John Woodall is number three, so he's generation number three. So if you look to the right of his name, William II, and then John I are his parents. So I'm looking for William. All this you put into the left find. So William II Woodall, generation number two, at the very top of this document now, son of John I, was born in 1709 in Virginia. 
And of course, at the very, very top, John 1 Woodall, born 1678, is his dad. And it shows his children as one of them as William 2 Woodall. So you can see that you can navigate 448 pages very quickly just by following the numbers affiliated with the name and the parent slash children of section that shows the names. That's how you can find several generations of your family backward. And like I say, this document assumes that they all lead back to John 1 Woodall. Now if you've got other information that that's not correct, that's fine. But this document matched with the family Bible that I was given. So it seems to be very thorough in our family's case. This may be something you could research and verify with your information that you have. Or if you have no information, it's a lot better than what you have now. So I want to share this document with you. It's been a great search tool for me. It gives me a lot of dates. It gives me the procession from Virginia to Alabama to finally Texas. And all of that I know to be true per my um, relatives. So hope this helps you. There'll be other episodes about the Woodall family in my channel.